Hey guys! Hey! We are currently in the Elephant Nature Park in Chiang Mai, Thailand. Mm -hmm. We're volunteering here for the week, um, doing some labour and helping out with these uh, amazing creatures right behind us. Yeah. Uh, I think it's going to be an incredible experience. Yeah, and we'll share what we do and what we see with you guys. Yeah. So let's check that out. Elephant Nature Park is such an incredible place um, and an incredible volunteer opportunity where you can get the sort of hands-on experience like seeing what they actually do here with the elephants and participating in it. You get paired um, with a guide who will walk around and introduce you to the elephants and tell you their stories and give you a number of tasks that you can do so that you can feel involved. Yeah, you do a, a number of jobs from cleaning elephant poo <laughs> to, ba <laughs> to bathing the elephants um, to preparing the elephants food um, it's just really good to to see where your money is going to 100% of, of the money you pay goes to taking care of the elephants yeah, and rescuing new ones yeah and you you learn a lot about each individual elephant as you're out with your guide and uh, when you see them kind of walking around, it's amazing, obviously. But once you uh, are kind of told their stories, it's it's easy to kind of conjure up images of them, like shuffling along in in shackles and and being mistreated for for nothing for for the avarice of of humans. All of the staff at the park know each elephant by name and will regale you with their unique and often tragic backstories. Over the week, we became very familiar with these senior residents and best friends. So on the left-hand side here, you've got May Parm. May Parm was rescued after being kept as a pet by a French Thai family. They didn't feed her properly. She became very ill and they decided to sell her. She's the first elephant that Lek rescued here at Elephant Nature Park and as soon as we got her, she gained weight and became healthy almost instantly. Jokia, who is on the right-hand side, is her best friend. She came from the logging industry, and while she was pulling the logs, she was actually pregnant. She gave birth while pulling the logs, lost her baby. Uh, the calf sadly died, and she refused to work. During this point, her mahout shot her in the eye with a slingshot, blinding her in one eye. As time went on, Jokia became more reluctant to work because of the emotional turmoil she was going through. Because of this, her second mahout stabbed her in the eye with a dagger. When she arrived here in 1999, uh, Mayparm went straight up to Jokia, using her trunk, touching her all over her face, especially her eyes, realised that she was blind and she needed someone to care for her, and Mayparm decided that would be the role that she would take to be Jokia's best friend and they've been together here for 17 years so far. Although the park's primary focus is on elephants, they aren't the only residents being cared for here. During our stay there were over 1,500 different lives here, made up of many species. From cows to pigs rescued from the slaughterhouse, to dogs, bunnies, cats and many many more. The park's founder is a passionate vegan who will do everything she can to not turn her life away. You know the elephant that is before they arrived here, when they rescued them, 85% arrived here with a huge mental problem because they have to force to work for the men and they have to force to go and to do the circus and trick show, also from street begging. The elephant that we rescue is many of them are handicapped. Many of them are blind, lame, and many of them is have a problem with their mind. So when when they come here, is our work to make them to rehab and make them less aggressive and angry. And the only way that is we can make them here to be stay happy that is we have to show them our love and care and that's why it's very important we bring the volunteer here because we want to educate 
the people we are volunteer as well because we believe that volunteer who are traveling around that is you can bring message to spread around the world and tell to the people and this is what is our project start for. Sadly, this is our, our last day in this beautiful place. Yeah, we've had such an amazing time here. Um, I would strongly, strongly recommend, that if anyone can, to come and do this, because it's such a, yeah. an amazing and fulfilling opportunity. Yeah, although not everyone can take the week off work or travel to Thailand, so if you still want to help, there are a lot of ways you can help. You can get the message out about um, this organization, tell your friends, tell your family, or you can financially support an elephant um, by donating and keeping them with a big happy watermelon belly. So you know, we're sad to leave, but yeah. we're excited to move on to the next step in our adventure. And mm. we'll see you guys there. See you. Bye. Bye. But I want to I have I want to have the hope you know one day I want that is uh, all people thinking about the other life as well you know not just only elephant we should leave the animal alone and the animal not decide for us the animal just be in this planet for their own reason as well you know we should respect them and this planet is belonging to them.